Hi everyone, this is part two of my bonus day for my 12 days of interactive December dailies video series. If you missed part one, I'll put a link um, up in the description box below as well as the card up in the corner here. Um, if you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe for more process videos and find me on Instagram for more December daily inspiration. In this part of the video, we'll be focusing more on the decorative elements as part of this page. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to attach these, um, I have die-cutted uh, some of these houses from the Carrie Bradford um, Studios. I think it's called Christmas Village, and they come with these cute houses, and I just resized them so that they would um, kind of go with my layout here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to... Um, layer these cut pieces um, on to this red piece here but I want to do it in a way that it's going to pop off of this page to give it some dimension. Um, now I'm going to show you how to do this on just white cardstock because um, my ending pieces are going to be, like the pieces that I'm actually going to use to attach these are acetate. Um, and this is going to be a bit hard to see what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to show you on a piece of white cardstock for now. So basically what I'm going to do, this will, the measurements will depend on the um, size of the die cut that you're using. But we want to measure the width of this piece. And we want to stay within these two edges here. So like this piece here measures about one and a half inches. I'm going to go slightly in and make that one and a quarter inches. So we're going to be cutting a piece of paper here at one and a quarter inches. The length doesn't matter for now. We're going to be cutting it down to size. So the next thing that we want to do um, is to create some score marks on this. So I have my scoreboard here. We're going to take the piece and measure the height of um, the windows. So what we want to do is to create a piece that kind of like goes over the window portion and doesn't go beyond that so that you can't see the edges of the piece. Um, when it's standing up. So here, um, I don't know if you can see, oops, so the windows are right about there, so we want to create the piece um, at one and a quarter inches. Actually, let's make it one and three eighths. So I'm going to take my piece and score it at one and three eighths of an inch. Then I'm going to score it at a quarter inch from there and then one and three eighths of an inch from there. So one, two, three, one. and then another quarter inch from there. So basically what we have here is that is the size of, um, maybe I'll fold it so that it's a bit easier to see the score lines. So this is the height of how much the, um, from the floor of the house to the top of the windows. Um, and then we have a quarter inch. We have the same height from the bottom of the house to the top of the windows. Then we have a quarter inch. And then we're going to cut at a quarter inch after this score mark. So I'll get out my paper trimmer again. We're going to line up this score mark at the quarter inch. And cut it off like so. So what you're going to end up with is kind of like, a, what do you call this, like an open box shape. So we have the um, quarter inch tab here that we can use to attach these pieces together and it just goes like that. So what you wanna do next is apply score tape onto this edge. I'm using um, the eighth, eighth of an inch score tape here. So 
so that when you peel off this piece, this tape backer, you can stick on this uh, quarter inch flap like so and it creates this rectangular piece that you can fold kind of back and forth to create some dimension. So the idea is we're going to be making these out of acetate now. Um, I've already cut and scored my, my three pieces just because it's a bit harder to see um, on the camera um, where the score marks are on the acetate. I will note as well that acetate is a bit harder to score than cardstock is. So you're going to need to press really hard um, on the acetate pieces to get the score marks. And you might want to take a um, scoring tool like the um, bone folder and just burnish down those edges when you're done so that they lay flat um, when they're folded. So I'm going to assemble my rectangular pieces on all three of these acetate rectangles that I've cut out. If you don't have acetate, another thing that you could do is use vellum instead. Now vellum is the opposite of acetate. It's actually, um, it creases quite easily and if you score too hard it can actually puncture the vellum. So just keep that in mind too when you're using vellum. So I'm going to assemble my rectangular pieces here. There's one. So another thing that I will um, note is that this piece here, I've actually created a bit of a thicker box. Now the reason why that is, is I want one of my houses to be kind of like more flat on the surface and one of the houses to kind of be more um, towards the forefront. And so in order, to, in order to do that, what I did was I took the measurement of my house piece and I scored at that mark. Then instead of scoring a quarter of an inch away from that, I scored a half an inch away from that. And then same thing, the height of the house, and then another half an inch, and then I cut it at the quarter inch from that last score line that I made. So that is an option for you to do as well. And you just want to make sure that when you're folding it, um, that it will lie flat regardless of which way you fold this square or rectangle, I guess. There we go. So we have our three um, rectangular pieces. Now we're going to attach our house to the rectangular pieces. So I'm going to put the seam side facing on the back. Actually, before we do that, we should probably apply score tape onto the back of these pieces too. So we're going to apply, so if, you're, if your rectangle is sitting like that, and this is the back piece, and this is the bottom, and this is the going to be the front of the house, we're going to apply score tape onto the back and the very bottom of the house. So for the back part, I'm going to be using my 3 8 inch score tape, and for the very bottom of the house, I'm going to be using the eighth of an inch score tape.
All right, so I have applied um, my t uh, just uh, the eighth inch score tape around some of the edges of these windows. Um, and I'm going to be applying these house shapes to the acetate pieces so that they go on the clear side and the bottom of the rectangle lines up with the bottom of the house, like so. And you want to make sure that the um, bottom of the rectangle is the one that has, is the side that has the score tape on it. So the next thing that we want to do is we're going to attach the houses onto um, the fronts of these panels. So I'm going to put this one house there, that house there, and that one there. So we're going to be removing the tape backing from the bottom and the back of these pieces. And what we want to do is we want to press this up against the page here so that it's lying flat against this surface and this surface. So I'm going to have to um, put it down on the table to do, but hopefully you can see what I'm doing here. And so when you fold it, should just be able to fold like so. There might be a bit of resistance because the acetate is um, a bit thick. So if you don't want it to have that much resistance, then you can use uh, vellum would be another option as well. So we're going to do the next side here. So the next thing that we're going to do is I've just um, attached one of these um, pocket cards onto some white cardstock um, so that we can take that down here. Uh, just remember not to overhang the 3 8 inch mark there. So the last thing that I'm going to be doing is I've printed out this um, photo of my Christmas wreath. Here I have a digital snap from um, Ali Edwards had a um, December daily prep party and she provided this uh, digital stamp as one of our um, downloads. And I also put a, a yellow star sticker from the Coco Daisy sticker sheets. Um, so when I've decided where my page is going to go in my album, um, I might create a magnetic closure for this page just so that this can be held shut. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to label a, um, I'm probably going to layer a couple of these labels. Um, these are stamped with the Ellie's Studio um, label stamp set. Um, and I'll just put them on the bottom of this sheet and then put one of these gold puffy sticker numbers on. So that just about wraps up my page. You might have to open and close the page a couple of times to just get the papers trained um, so that they fold up properly, but mine looks like it's doing pretty well. 
Um, so if you have any questions about the um, process video, just let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, again, there's some tags in here that open up to reveal some journaling and some decorations. Um, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Um, make sure you subscribe for the rest of my 12 days of interactive December dailies um, videos and hit the notification button down below. Thanks for watching.